traders welcome to my youtube channel my little segment here where i document my process so far into the foreign exchange market for those of you that are new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and toggle notification for more content like this and for those of you that have been here before helping me to track my journey so far into the foreign exchange market i say peace to you thank you so so much i really do appreciate all your efforts and all your corrections yeah so this is on the gbp usd gbp usd we had this analysis on gbp usd you can check our previous post our last week post so you won't get confused so it won't be like when price did all these stuff just came here to plot our level so that it will align with what price is saying then we can come up here and uh, so I can come up here and tell you that this is what price is doing, this is what price is doing, this is what I'm expecting. You can check our previous videos and you realize that these were the key levels we had on our charts. All this why and we're really waiting for price to give us a direction so that we can engage in this market. You can see this on the daily time frame and price is, is creating higher highs and higher lows. This is a bullish market and all I'll be looking for in in the bullish markets it's just buys i won't be looking for anything other than buys i will be looking for buys and buys and buys and buys and this surprise it we had this impulsive leg around here that started from around this region from from here you can check our previous videos when i spoke about this and also this region here where we said price broke above this region now waiting for a pullback into region so that we can hop on this market and eventually price did that Price created had this impulsive leg up here, and when price got up here, because we had a uh, normally I like to draw my Fibonacci on the daily time frame like this, and this our uh, second TP target, and price bounced, got into this minus 0.7 Fibonacci retracement, and uh, blew past this region, creating the higher highs and having a pullback into region and normally i don't like trading pullbacks yes i don't like trading pullbacks because i've had quite terrible experiences trading a pullback so i don't i'm not a fan of trading pullbacks and whatever the market gives me i keep it so I had this impulsive leg up here I had a pullback and another impulsive leg and currently price is having having an a pullback it had a pullback into a key level like this but what has price done here? Price had a pullback into our key level, but broke a major, broke a major train line, which has been respected for a very, very long time. If you backdate it down to September 2022, price respected this key level. Price also respected this key level in May 2023. Respected this key level again in June. Tapped into this, into this train line again on the June. 30th 2023 came down here will fail towards the trend line now failed to hold price but price broke below it and tapped into our key level tapped into our key level giving us a pullback if you can check it very well this uptrend is still intact because price haven't broken any structure yet the uptrend is still very intact if we remove this trend line here we will see that price has a low here higher low here created this higher high created a higher low here came up here created the higher high and what created an equal low around here price has put in this equal see this equal higher lows around here let's see equal lows around here you understand now to see what our uptrend is still intact and this is what i'll be looking for for the coming week if I pull my Fibonacci from swing low here, I'll draw it at this low. If I pull my Fibonacci from here to the upside like this, you see that price tapped into this Fibonacci 0.5 and 0.6 region. Had a reaction around here, creating this bullish engulfing candle on the daily time frame that engulfed the previous day candle around here. And if we go down to the weekly time frame, if we go down to the weekly time frame, we realize that 
about 70% of this candle has closed above after tapping into this region. That's to tell you that this region is a very, very key area. A key area. If you take a good look at this candle, you see that this candle was completely bearish. But when the week closed, it closed above. It's creating this long week below here. And what does that signify? That price, that there are buyers around this region that push this price up here. But for the fact that I'm a very conservative trader, I don't like... Most times I can't handle all these pressures of saying I bought at the key level and price is trying to go down to my stop loss. This is what I do. I always wait for price to bounce off my confluence area. This is what I... This is my what? This is my previous resistance became support. Price tapped into that place and created this money star around here. And after a money star, what comes? A bullish candle. And what I'll be looking for is price to break above this counter trend line to signify to me that the structure has been completely taken off. Structure has been broken and price is ready to what? Have an impulsive leg to the upside. And for that to happen, this is what I will do in the market. I'll pull out my Fibonacci. My first TP target to be here at the 100% retracement. Be on the 100% retracement. My second TP target to be at the minus 0 0.5, 0 0.27 Fibonacci region. But for the fact that it is in our key level, I'll put it before the key level. So I'll take away my Fibonacci. And this is what I will have. I'll have price do this, break above this counter trend line like this. Price to break above this counter trend line. And my first TP target will be at the 100% retracement. That should be roughly around 400 pips. If that happens, then wow. With this and the USD trade, if that happens, then I'll be done for the month completely. Do it to take time, to take time. But if that happens, if this trade got triggered and it's moving in my direction, then sure, I'll be done for the month. So if I go down to my entry time frame, which is on the four hour time frame, I'll go down to my entry time frame, which is on the four hour time frame. This is my entry time frame. four hour time frame like this with a price to bounce off this region break above this counter trend line before i'll enter and what i like to do is i like using structural stops i don't like to come into the market and tell the market what to do where to go and stop wherever the market presents to me that i should put my stop loss that is where i would definitely put my stop loss this is what I'll be expecting the market to do, break above this region, but maybe tap into this region, bounce back, create an equal low around here, then break above this region. But if that doesn't happen, it breaks above up here and creates a low high for me, then I'll use that low high to set my stop loss. So this is on GPUSD, this is what I'm looking for. These are the only pairs I'm having a setup on for this week. And last week I had a trade on uh, GBP GPY, which we had about 90 pips running. And then suddenly price turned against and turned against us and almost hit our stop loss but due to the fact that we took partial profit at the 100 percent retracement which price got shied off of there we we didn't encounter much challenges like that i will share the video with you maybe after this video i will share i'll make a video of that same setup and i will share to you what happened and everything how i managed to get out of that position like this so please if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and toggle notification for more educational content like this and if you find this video very very educative please hit the subscribe button and if you find anything also on my chat that you need us to discuss about so i can make adjustment also you can hit the subscribe button you can Use the comment section and we'll have a very very vivid discussion about that and we can also grow together from there because we learn every day if you really want to grow them have to learn from each other so thank you for staying there
and watching this video die to the very end and peace oh yes it's on here so that price has been reacting to a minor level here yeah. wow 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 so let's go back historically and see what happened around that region see it's a very very bad reaction around this region so you see so this is it So I'll be looking at for when we can TV as you can go back and watch my video on the uh, GBP JPY. I'll make a video on GBP JPY and post also how I got into the trade and how I got stopped out. Yeah, and um, you can check our previous video on GBP USD also, which we had an analysis when price was here to come into this key level. Yeah, so. Peace and thank you very much for staying tuned.